Hi guys. Today um, we're gonna be doing um, eyebrows for sure. Primer. I use the Lorac. It actually works pretty well. Um, I do have um, some pores here underneath my eyes, kind of like a V here. And um, I also have a little bit here in between my eyebrows and also a little bit on my chin. And um, I try to focus more on those um, areas. And um, I want to introduce you to an item, a product that um, my friend gave me to try. Um, it's called Hey Honey, Open Your Eyes. It's an eye contour lifting fluid and this is what it looks like. So um, I'm actually trying that out right now. Not sure um, what the results are gonna be. So I'm, I did put some on this eye. I'm gonna put some on the other eye and I'll come back and let you know what I think. So for some reason I am feeling some tingliness um, around in the area where I am putting it at. It's weird because I didn't get the tingly feeling on the other eye, so... Okay, now I'm feeling it. Yeah. Alright guys, so... I wasn't really feeling it, it really didn't do anything. I think that no change at all. Um, so yeah, it didn't do anything. I got this palette here um, last night by my friend. I've actually been searching for something like this and hopefully, I mean, I can get my hands to it. So this is my palette I'll be working on. I, mean, I got some red spots everywhere. Well, the thing is, is that I tend to pick up my skin I know that's not a good thing to do but yeah this yeah. is what I use uh, for my primer actually as of right now it seems to be the only thing that's working so I tried me. the Smashbox um, primer the one for your pores it did not work for me I at all tried the um, pore professional that didn't work as good for me which is really weird because the sample that they gave me in a little paper um card whatever you want to call it worked better for me than than the actual little bottle so i am gonna start off in this area then go here and here and then whatever the face whatever on the face <sighs> And you don't need to put so much um, or use so much of the product. And in case if you're wondering what's going on with my eyes, I use this one eyeliner that it's waterproof. It's from Wet n Wild. I'm not sure if you can see that. Pretty hard to take off. So you can still see that it's, I, I have some there and up here, like it really works. So if it's something that, um, like if I'm going to church and I know I'm gonna be crying my eyes out, which always happens, um, I would rather use a waterproof eyeliner. The brush itself is actually really different than the regular one. So this is my NYX. See, so it actually is a brush rather than the waterproof is more like of a sponge shaped into like a brush, but it's not. It's it's like a sponge. A lot of times it's really hard to put on, so you have to be like really careful as to how much um, liquid you have on it all right so I'm going to use my uh, L'Oreal true match uh, by the color I'm not sure if I told you guys already but that the um, stippling brush stippling brush that I use is um, actually made by the same company as the brushes from Sephora not sure if you know that hmm. 
You know what, that I'm not 100% sure if I was supposed to use the, um, from that one palette that I showed you, if I'm supposed to put that on before I put on my foundation. I'm not a pro. Not there yet. If you hear my kids in the background, they're watching Circus de Soleil. Yeah. What's a good thing about the library is that they have lots of movies, even new releases, and you can pre-order them. So I keep them entertained, watching like movies that I've seen in the past when I was little. But Circus de Soleil is one of my actual all-time favorite. Um, to watch and we're doing circular motions and I'm not really sure I'm not really sure what look I actually want to do and that's what it looks like I do want to give props to the people that um, do their own editing because it takes forever really like after you edit like you have to take your time and edit and if once you're done editing if you don't save your stuff the iMovie app tends to like kick you out and whatever you didn't save you have to redo all over again well yeah probably for me because I did it with my iPad First couple of movies I did was with my iPad and it kept kicking me out and so I decided to try with my phone and it actually went pretty well. The only thing is is that I can't see um, when, the, when doing the voiceovers you can't really see your voice <clears throat> when it's activated and when you're speaking it's just blank. So I don't really know if I'm talking or not, if I'm doing a uh, voiceover. But um, yeah, uploading it um, to YouTube took six hours yesterday. So I was like without my phone. So the whole time I was like, oh my God, I hope nobody calls. Because if you do get phone calls and you actually go and answer it, yeah, you have to restart all over again. Okay guys, so I do apologize, um, when I did this video for you, I did the, the whole tutorial on my eyebrows and according to the video, you could not see anything but my forehead. So here is the complete tutorial on how I do my eyebrows and I hope that it was a good one for you guys.
Okay guys, so here uh, is the new palette that I was telling you about. Um, and the first one I'm going to be playing with is the green one. The green one that I'm using is for the little red spots that I have on my face. And as you can see, I'm applying it, I'm applying it over the red spots. And I did try with the um, damp beauty blender to kind of, you know, blend it all in. And that didn't work. So I had to apply a couple of dots of my um, L'Oreal Paris foundation on a couple of the dots that I have there and then fan it in or blend it in with the stippling brush. Here I am using the yellow concealer for the purple underneath my eyes. Alright guys, so this is actually part one of this video. Um, please stay tuned for part two, which should be up soon. Alright guys, so until your finger hits that play button, I'll see you then. Thank you so much for watching.